Hello and welcome back to UDL Farming. So we are now mid-autumn, so it's been a few days since we last uh, updated you on our progress. And our field of canola is now ready to harvest. Um, we've spent the day, the last few days, doing a few different jobs. I'll put some lights on so I can see what's going on. Um, it is still very early in the morning, as you can probably tell at this point. So we've leased the harvester, same as last time. Um, we still can't afford to buy our own harvester to ship. And we are going to start harvesting our canola. This time though, unlike the wheat, we are going to sell it immediately. Originally the weather forecast was telling us we had a day to do this. And then it was going to rain, but now it's saying it's going to hold off for a couple of days. So we've kind of got to wave it more than we was expecting to, so it's definitely a bonus. Um, we've been busy, we've been cutting the grass on our big field in the main farm um, and putting that into the silage pit at the satellite farm. We have also traded in two of our vehicles to gain another truck, like similar to Nighthawks, just different colour really, um, because we thought having two trailers that can carry quite a bit of crops and grass and things like that would be more ideal. We haven't really used the van, so we sold that, and we got £50,000 for that. And then we sold one of the flatbed trucks um, for around 40000 It gave us a profit of twenty grand Once we'd purchased the truck and the carrier, it was about twenty grand profit. So it's not too bad. But if we just kind of decided that if we're not using them, then we might as well utilise the money elsewhere. So this is our field of canola. So we're going to lower the header, turn the harvester on. Do not fresh when the crops are too wet. Please tell me they're not wet. Yep. It hasn't rained, but they're too wet. This happened last time as well. Yeah. They've literally just 10 15 minutes of in game time ago became available to harvest. I honestly thought we could just crack on and, get, and do it. Um, so, what we'll do, I think, is we'll come back when we can actually touch them and harvest them. So, we'll see you shortly. Hello, and welcome back again. So, that's not the first time I've made that mistake, admittedly. Um, what we think is because it is mid-autumn, it's the condensation in the morning makes everything wet. And that's what caused that to be an issue. Um, but we are now harvesting our canola. We're not sure exactly how much we're going to get. We have got a plan for this part of the field next season. We are actually going to put wheat in this bit because we don't need as much as we thought. Um, canola sells for twice the price of wheat. So we've still got the wheat stored. But we could do a smaller field of wheat. Um, and we're going to look at something else with a big field. That's the thinking currently anyway. Um, but it was, it was about four hours until it dried out enough to be able to harvest. which wasn't too bad, it's just we were hoping to start first thing in the morning. Luckily we don't have to worry about the rain in the evening now. So we have got a bit of time to get it done. And the other field ahead of us isn't ready yet and won't be ready for another couple of days. We kind of spaced them out, probably a bit too much because we've had a bit of a wait in between, but we've had other jobs to do at least. Um, but that other field was for soybeans. Let me do it. Is if I turn around here, Nighthawk should be able to travel alongside. And we can unload. Hopefully.
Like I say, we have got two of these trucks now. So that will make a difference. Are you struggling there, Nighthawk? Just a little bit. Oh, there we go. It's not <laughs> going in. Yeah. Low speed down. I was going to say, do I need to adjust? Oh, sorry. It's only because I've got to try and fit it in. You're there. I'm there, but it's not doing anything. It's not, is it? Yeah, we're just going to have a look at something. Yeah, I can't move the pipe either. Hang on. What we did with the trucks, we're both the same now. They've both been upgraded to hold 15,000 litres. And with that, you get this little canopy bit on the top. We weren't sure how this was going to work with, um, with harvesting. It might be a case we have to adjust both to trailers and have a reduced capacity um, just for harvesting, I think. This might be the case, looking at it. Because you're taking nothing's come out of this. No, we did. It's done come out a little bit, but nothing major. Yeah, we yeah. Didn't go into my thing. It might. It might be a case of you having to reduce capacity on both yeah. trucks. Yeah. So, so we'll reduce capacity on both trucks. Yeah, it's um, not playing ball there, is it? No, it could be because I can't adjust the pipe. But this is the most basic harvester you can get. It's the one we used last time for the wheat. Um, so it could just be the fact that we can't adjust the pipe to go any higher, whereas on a lot of them you can. So if we adjust the capacity, we'll just take the capacity down to about 9,000 litres. This doesn't sound an awful lot, but um, we've got two of them, so if we do it on both. That will make a difference to us going forward and um, we should then be able to just pipe out as we go and with two trucks it should just be a constant to and fro like I say we're going to sell it straight away we're not going to wait Going price is just over six hundred pounds per thousand litres currently. You can see a couple of dead patches. It doesn't seem to germinate in a couple of places, um, which was kind of to be expected considering we didn't actually do anything really with it. I know you're there. Sorry. It's a little bit of a drop down there. It's kind of a <laughs> quite a big angle. I've not really some going on here. No. Yeah, so basically with the caging, it limits, I'm assuming, what it can hold. Yeah. But I think it's, like I say, because we can't adjust the pipe. Hmm. Because it started to try, but then it wouldn't fill up. No. Right now, do you? Isn't it? You've now caught me. Hang on. So you might as well just go on ahead until we get to the uh, bit we cut the field in half. Yeah. 
so we can meet in the middle. Yeah, you just need to be very. Hang on, let me take off the corner. Oh, yeah. There we go. If you start going and then I'll come behind you, which is then wider. I don't really want to be damaging crops. No, that's one thing we're trying to be careful of. Yeah, hopefully we'll get a few thousand litres and uh, we'll finally sell some crops. It'll be the first crops this season we've sold that are our own. Uh, we are going to wait further into the year, probably winter time for the wheat. We're trying to get a good price for it. It's about £300 a thousand litres currently. We just feel we could probably get a little bit more. Going in quite nicely though. And although we split this field in half, it's still a fair sized field. Nowhere near as big as the wheat field, so I don't expect 100,000 litres, but it is still a good size. I don't know where my horse got to. Oh, I'm customising the other trailer. <laughs> I thought, well, you're not going to be full up yet, so... No. But after... We've just finished our seventh month. This is, we've now started our eighth month in our first year. And we're doing okay. You know, we are still making money. We are still on track to make a profit for the first year overall, which wasn't expected to happen. Um, we are thinking the animals will start making money in the new year. Uh, so it takes a little bit of time to get them settled and sorted and running. But we're, quite, we're happy with our progress. We'd like to have paid more off towards our loan by now. Uh, we've only managed to pay off £15,000 this year. We're hoping before the end of the year to be able to pay a bit more. Um, but it is going to depend on these harvests and how well we do with these, I think. Sounds like Nighthawk is alongside us, or coming up alongside us. There we go. Six mile an hour is the speed. If he stops banging into us, that would be helpful. And you'll see the new truck just ahead of us to the left in uh, the farm colours. Case red. How full are you now, Hulk? Uh, 48%. Is that all? I had to drop one down to five. My incisor probably looked. Yeah, yeah, true. <laughs> so I don't know what any guesstimates of how much we're going to get. 
the wheat field, remember we haven't fertilised, we haven't done anything other than plant the seed, that's it. Um, so there will be a little bit of a less yield due to that, but I'm curious to see what we actually get out of this. We had 100,000 litres of the wheat. Field size wise it's difficult to tell, and we split it in half. I'd like to say 50,000 litres would be quite a good yield. But this is what we've been waiting for all year. Sell our first crop that we've produced ourselves. So what we'll do is we'll come back when we're nearly done, I think, because this is going to take us a little while. And uh, hopefully we'll have an amount we've managed to uh, produce by them. So we'll see you soon. And we're back. As you can see, we've got most of the field done. So, so far we've delivered two full trailer loads, um, which have 9,750 liters in each and we've delivered two of those already um, we have one full truck and a part full truck as it stands the two full trucks we've sold previously we managed to get six thousand three hundred and four pounds for so we're looking at about twenty four thousand pounds hopefully roughly around that which isn't bad for something we uh, put in and left to be honest so we're just getting the last bits now and the other thing we have to do while we're here is the little strip of barley that Nighthawk decided to plant for the chickens we need to go and get that while we've got the harvester out we have been a little bit worried our final crop soybeans in the top field isn't due to harvest yet I think it's going to be a few days but we are due snow in a few days according to the forecast so there is a chance we may lose it I'm hoping we won't um, the one thing that affected this field we found was there was quite a few patches of failed germination some fairly large um, so that's obviously affected our yield We're going to just miss the last patch, so let's spin round. And I think that's all of it. So we'll just go up next to Nighthawk. Okay. 88%. 88%. So just under three full loads, um, which isn't too bad. So what we'll do, we'll go and unload the truck. That's full. Um, we'll convoy with Nighthawk, and then we'll quickly go and do the barley, and we'll probably end up putting that in our silo, to be honest. So let's go and jump in our truck. Off we go. It's not been a bad day's work and it's still money coming in. Um, decent amount of money as well. And the other farmers have planted a few more fields back again. They've managed to get two, two, um, two lots of crops 
in one year whereas we didn't quite manage that but then we were having to plow our fields and do a lot of groundwork and stuff first so we are hopefully planning next year to try and do two lots in the fields um it might not be possible in all three but it is something we are trying to think about um, we've also got to rotate the crops so we have got a few choices to make and decisions to do Road is clear. Okay. So all these, although these trucks don't hold a massive amount, mainly because we had to take off the top parts, but 9,750 litres per truck isn't too bad. And for that size field, it's actually ideal, really, because it's only it's four loads, um, which I don't think is too bad. So there we are. Not the sell point. We were anxious about the price dropping the more we're unloading, but it hasn't done so far. I don't know if it changes per day or amount you put in. And there's canola. So that's an extra 11,000. So if we add that to the two loads we'd already done, £24,505, which, like I say, isn't too bad for a field we planted and left. Admittedly, a yield could have been better if we had... Uh, fertilized it and the fields desperately need liming but lime is quite expensive but that is something we're gonna have to try and look at doing um, but yeah our plan is to lease a didestrate truck and just didestrate all the fields before we plant for the new season And that should increase our yield at least. But we have made money. That's the that's the main thing. We are making money. Nighthawk's got all the equipment ready for another bailing contract. No rest for the wicked. No. Um, and we are getting to end of day, so it has taken, the, well we had to wait for the ground to dry up and the crop to uh, dry a little bit before we could start, which kind of put us back, but it's taken roughly a day, maybe a bit less to uh, do it. So we'll quickly go and get this strip of barley, and then we'll unload that into our silo, because that essentially is chicken food. Nighthawk can... Uh, off and start the barley. So here we are back with the harvester. So let's turn this off. Should have put the pipe in really before we left. There we go. Engine on. And then we need to drop this back off uh, and stop the lease. But we still have the soybeans to do, so there is still another harvest due yet. Hopefully we'll get the contracts for the uh, other farmers' harvest as well. So some bit of extra money. I'm not expecting a massive amount from this barley.
as it is just a small strip. Make sure we don't hit our, uh, our home at this point. Should have turned the swapping off, I suppose I've just dumped on the floor. So there we go. 200 litres. Um, that is chicken food at least. So we'll just now get this to our satellite farm, drop it into the silo, and go and drop the harvester back, and that will be job done for the day. You don't realise how slow 13 miles an hour is until um, that's your limit. As you can see, the sun's starting to set. It's 7 o'clock in the evening, mid-autumn. Sun does go down earlier. We have noticed a lot of wasted fields on uh, Marwell Manor as well. There's a lot of fields that are cultivated or harvested from when we started that have just been left untouched. We're kind of hoping, a bit close up Carter, we are kind of hoping that, um, that in the new year them fields may get used. Um, because if they were, that would help us massively with contracts, would actually make a lot more money. But for some reason, currently, they don't seem to get used or nothing happens to them. Ideally, if we could afford to buy them up, that would be a good thing, but I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon. Some of the prices of the fields are quite high. So there's our sound like farm on the right hand side. We were considering the other day we were talking about getting rid of our main farm and just having the sound like farm as our base, but if we do that we lose our three fields. Um, so yeah, it's it's a tough one really. It would be nice to use the sound like farm as the main base. Um, but I, we need the fields ideally. Right, so let's unload here. Um, I can't unload there. I don't know why. I need to wipe out. Just turn around. There we go. Our barley is going into the silo. All done. So we drop this off and get rid of the lace. But a good day all in all. With one field to go. The first year, I think we are going to deem a success. We shouldn't really talk too soon. There is still a chance we lose um, 
the final harvest depending on the weather. Some parts up. Dumb. Uh, I hadn't. I hadn't returned the header. Let's return the header to us, shall we? Right, there we go. So not a bad day. We've managed to get the canola harvested. Uh, with one more harvest to go. If we have a look ahead um, at the weather. Currently Monday evening. Tuesday's a cloudy day. But I don't think the soybeans will be ready by then. Wednesday's rain and Thursday potentially is snow. The next chance of harvesting the last field is probably going to be a Friday. Um, but it is going to be very dependent on the weather at this point. And then we're getting some minus temperatures already. So we do need to get it in. I don't... Um, we can actually have a quick look at how frost resistant uh, soybeans is. So frost resistance to mature plant is none so we need that in before we hit the minus temperatures or there is a chance we'll lose it so it's something we do need to pay attention to and keep an eye on so i hope you enjoyed the uh, video and uh, we shall be back very soon with another video of our progress thanks for watching bye bye